Welcome to another installation of Tough Guys. Um, today's subject, certainly not a household name. If you weren't around in the 70s, you've probably never heard of him. But John Martin was one of those guys that made racing fun because it was his life and he could do it all. And a lot of people say, yeah, he was a better engine man than he was a driver. He was a better mechanic than he was a driver. Uh, he was a pretty good driver. He just never drove very many good cars. He made Indy five years in a row. 72, 3, 4, 5, 6. He drove old Brabham's, old McLaren's, uh, a Curtis. He's driven all kinds of cars at the Indianapolis Motor Speedway. But what's really great about John is he started racing in 64 sports cars. So from 64 to 69, sports cars, USAC stock cars, NASCAR stock cars. But in 1968, the Trans Am Series was jumping. Everybody wanted to be part of the Trans Am Series. Well, John was the AMC Javelin's lead mechanic. Their drivers were Peter Revson, George Fulmer, two of the best. So they're at Mid-Ohio in 1968. Revson qualifies second. Fulmer's racing at Mossport, an Indy car at Mossport the same day they're having qualifying. So they asked Martin to qualify the car. And he said, okay, but if I win the pole, can I keep the ride and race tomorrow? And they went, sure, pal. If you win the pole, you can keep the ride and race, race tomorrow. We'll tell George Fulmer he's watching. Well, Martin goes out and wins the pole. So it's... Martin and Revson on the front row in their team javelins. Fulmer shows up the next morning and is not too thrilled to find out he's been replaced by the lead mechanic. Uh, John runs good. I think it drops a valve. So he makes his indie debut in 1970 at Raceway Park in an old clunker, I think. And then when I got to know him, it was so interesting because that was a time when you had guys like Bill Finley, A.J. Watson, Grant King, Raul of Allstead building their own cars behind their house. And John Martin was his own owner, driver, chief mechanic, and engine man. Now, I want you to think about that. And he finished fifth at Ontario a couple times. And I got to tell you, the cars that he drove were always old. He never had a new car and certainly didn't have a lot of money behind him. And it was just, it was so cool to watch this guy operate because he tried to sign in, he tried to sign in with USAC as a uh, owner, driver, mechanic, chief mechanic, and they wouldn't let him. So he had to go hire a buddy of ours, Mike Mullins, who was selling cars in Upland, California, to be his chief mechanic. And Mike really didn't, had never been around Indy cars, so, you know, he was learning on the fly. But John was a good teacher. And just to see him get out of the car, go check on the suspension, check the plugs, get back in, go out and practice. I mean, he embodied what a racer really is. And I think, you know, the five years he ran Indy, didn't have much luck, but the fact that he made the Indy 500 five times in a row, doing all that stuff himself, to me, they're always looking for people to put in the Hall of Fame, you know, they've created new categories for Formula One and, and NASCAR, which didn't set well with most of us, or a lot of us, I mean, guys like John Martin are the guys that I would look at the Hall of Fame, yeah, he didn't win a race, but he was all about what the Indy 500 was, and that was potential, and possibilities, and hard work, and he, it was just an honor to watch this guy operate. Well, he's 80 years old. He comes to lunch with us on Fridays with Lee Kuzman and Bill Vukovic and Bubby Jones and the boys. And wears his cowboy hat. I've never seen an 80-year-old as active as he is. So right now, he's in Grant King's old shop building offy engines. And to think that he can take an offy engine, he took an offy engine from scratch. It was completely rusted out and rebuilt it in about four weeks. The guy is amazing. And... He's so full of energy in life, and he, he's always wanting to show you his, his latest project. So just look him up sometime. Go to Wikipedia, look at John Martin, or go to Great Racing Classics. I think there's a racing statistics site that's really good that shows his whole career and how many different kind of cars he drove. And he raced for 20 years, and he'd probably still race today if somebody give him a ride. So our tough guy today, John Martin. A pleasure to know him. This is Robin Miller. Thanks for watching Racer.com. NBC's got the new home of IndyCar racing. Don't tell anybody. It's called Now Better Coverage. See ya.